Welcome back folks to another tank review. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to do a premium tier 8 tank, the IS-6. Uh, before we start, I'd like to make a shout out to iDino555. Uh, I rarely get, I don't actually get people talking to me on tanks, but uh, uh, this person was talking to me on tanks and uh, I was stuffing my face at the time, so I'm sorry, but uh, I wasn't there. <laughs> I was eating my face. Yes. I was eating my face, exactly. But uh, but uh, yeah. So nice shout out to you. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll post more reviews and crap. <laughs> All right, let's look at the IS six. Um, IS six is a premium tier A tank. Now you cannot get this tank normally in game with normal credits. You have to buy this with gold. This tank costs about eleven thousand eight hundred, I think. Uh, how much gold do you cost? You mother okay there's no gold I'll, I'll show you the picture of the website but uh it costs 11,800 uh, gold or 51 bucks so let's go to the website and now I'll show you how this uh, premium tanks work all right here we have the wargaming uh, premium shop page on the internets yes the internet you can get gold and shit uh, you can go to vehicles I click vehicles thank you um, and the uh, IS-6 costs about 50, yeah, what? Increasing prices? 52 bucks now. It's said 51 bucks like a few weeks ago. <laughs> Alright, so this is the IS-6. It costs a lot of pennies. So, yeah. And you cannot get this thing normally. Holy shit, I ain't get a t slot, mm, but okay. I think it's a tier 8 silver shirt of yours. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, so this is basically it. It costs you fifty-two bucks, or eleven thousand eight hundred gold, which is a lot of pennies. But uh, I'll tell you like how to fight this, fight against it, and where's its weak spot, or if you should really buy one. All right, back to the normal game. <laughs> All right, uh, we're back. Uh, I just made a video explaining the difference between premium tanks and non-premium tanks. So hopefully you guys watch that. And uh, I don't want to explain it all over again, but this is a premium tank. And um, I got this tank uh, from last year's December mission, which is um, play all nations tier 6 to 100,000 XP for all their nations. So there was nine nations, I think. Was there nine nations? One, two, three. No, there was just seven. Or Yeah, there was just seven. Yeah, so I played like 700,000 XP on seven different nations and I got the IS-6. It took me a month, but uh, if you don't want to take a month, you can take 51 bucks out of your pocket. <laughs> but uh, let me just review this tank and see how well this tank works. So on paper, all right, here we go. Real tank review, let's do this. So on paper, this tank has 100 millimeter of frontal hull armor, 150 on the sides and, uh, and the turret, as well as 150 in the front, 150 on the sides. Um, the hull is the 100 millimeter at the front, 100 millimeter side, 60 at the rear. All right, 100 millimeter at the uh, back as well for this tank. So this tank, on paper, it looks kind of weak because it's 100 millimeters. But if you look carefully, this tank is very well sloped. This tank is sloped as math is 30-ish, 40-ish degrees. That would make this effective armor at 200. This frontal armor is about 200 millimeters, so this is a very effective uh, slant of the slope armor. Now, if you guys don't know what slope armor is, I'll probably have to make another video on it. <laughs> but I'll explain stuff as we move along. So trust me on this, the more slope it has, the more bouncy it is. So think of like billiards or stuff. Yeah, it's more bouncy. So this tank is very bouncy because it's very well sloped. The lower glaze is also very well sloped at 45 degrees ish but um so the lower glaze is about 150 millimeter so this tank is very well armored all around so it's very bouncy now this tank is not weak in engine power it has a 700 uh horsepower engine it does move at uh, 35 kilometers per hour so this is not a slow heavy tank so it's still pretty decent it does turn kind of slow at 26 degrees per second but it's not that bad and the third uh, turret turns kind of slow too at 24 degrees per second so you have to turn the hull as well as the turret in order to turn the whole turret faster now 
the, we already, uh, I already explained the difference between premium tanks and normal tanks, but hopefully you watched that video, so I don't want to explain everything. But this tank's normal gun is kind of weak. It's um, it's the D30 122mm. It fires about 5.13 rounds per minute, so it's average about, if you have a good crew, uh, brothers in arm and vents, so it's about 10 seconds or so. Um, it only has 175 millimeters of pen. Now at tier 8, this is garbage. So you really have to aim for weak spots with 175 millimeters of penetration. Even premium shells only has 217. So premium shells are also terribly bad at penetration. Uh, it has 0.46 dispersion, which is very bad as well and 3.4 aim time which is very bad too so the gun on this tank is its major weakness now you can say that um if you have such a crappy gun just give me more ammo and i'll compensate by spamming ammo however this is also another weakness you can only carry 30 rounds on the is6 so you have to make the shots count because 30 rounds you will find yourself without ammo in this tank and you have to ram people in order to kill them. That's how desperate I got with only 30 rounds. So be very careful about shooting and not missing. It's not as bad as the, the Pensus 5, which you only get 15 rounds, but 30 rounds is still very limited. So be careful. Um, let's talk about equipment before I go into Tech Inspector. So basically I put a gun rammer to uh, decrease the load time on this tank because you are dealing damage you are a heavy tank and you're supposed to be a front line so you are a door stopper and you must be there in case of emergency i also put um vertical stabilizer this is really good to uh, compensate for the very bad accuracy of the gun and helps on uh on the accuracy on the move so you need this vertical stabilizer uh, for the last one, I got vents just because um, my crew has better uh, better repair skills than uh, their normal tank crew. For example, on my KV-1S, so I don't have to re uh, retrain them for or have this to be a, like a repair box or a toolbox. So that's why I don't have to be a toolbox on here. So that's why um, crew skills. It's coming for your uh, heavy tank line crew on the Russian tank tree. So basically these are the same crews as my KV-2. Now the commander has six cents first, but normally if you don't have the first skill, you would go with repairs. Everybody have repairs. Then once you reach 100, I would generally swap this out with six cents. This with, um, I swap this out with uh, snapshot and swap the, his out with um, uh, smooth ride because accuracy on the KV-2 and the KV-1S or KV-1S. KV-1S as well as the KV, uh, not KV, or the IS-6, all Russian heavy tanks have very bad accuracy. That's why I have um, snapshot and smooth ride, and as well as the loader has uh, safe stowage. You don't have to get the turret blow off. But on the second scale, I got um, Brothers in Arms to reduce the reload time, as well as uh, the driver capabilities, commander capabilities, and everybody's capabilities. So uh producing arms on the second skill and i retrain everybody for repairs on the uh, la uh, third skill but you can have uh, more skill to come so that's how i configure my crew um how about we go into tank inspector and look at the weakness of this tank so basically i'll explain the weakness right now because i think the hd model is not loaded in tank inspector so the one major weakness is this little driver hatch now this little driver hatch is only um 150 millimeters thick slanted even so if you don't shoot at this little driver hatch the rest is 200 millimeters so this is a major weakness right here now if you don't have a aim or a shot or if the tank is slanted like this where it's automatic bounce like this angle you can shoot at um, the turret the turret the two hatches on top the commander and the gunner cupola these two are very big weakness as well but it's very uh very small target so you have to be very careful with the shots tank destroyers or um american heavies can easily penetrate these two so just be careful about your top of your turret but these are very small weak spots uh if your tank is angled like this or 45 degrees this is uh roughly 200 millimeters this is uh, i don't even know but this is very bouncy too so if you aim uh, if you slant uh angle your tank slant like 
this. There's a weak spot right here where your cheek is. This little cheek, if you can't see the paint, but this little cheek is also a weak spot if you're angled to the tank. So don't try to over angle and don't show this little spot right here because they can just aim here or aim under the tracks. Now your tracks are pretty big too, so they might hit your tracks and blow your tires off. Your tires or treads, whatever, and blow them off. But it's still, be just be careful. You cannot rely on it. It does have um, somewhat of a space armor right here, just a little flap, but don't rely on it. So just be careful. So just normally you want to slant your tank like this and cover like the major proportion of this tank. So basically cover like this before you poke out and shoot and poke back in. So just be careful. Now we'll go to tank inspector and look at this tank uh, armor values in general. Uh, holy shit. Fucking model loaded in. All right, here's the IS-6 in tank inspector. The driver hatch is the main weakness. So this flap right here is only about 150 millimeters thick. So this is what we talked about. What the hell is the treads black? Jesus Christ. All right. And the lower glaze is still very bouncy. So if you normally look at this, lower glaze is at 215 and 220. Holy shit. So don't even think about shooting the lower glazes. It will bounce unless you have a very high caliber shell. Aim for this little weak spot right here if you're playing normally. So this little weak spot, here's the driver's hatch. That's a weakness. Uh, the normal uh, frontal armor is a bit... Uh, the normal frontal armor, if you don't slant it, is about 200-ish or 180-ish. So this is fat. The side armor is automatic ricochet. Shoot the side panel right here. Ricochet, ricochet. The turret also has a weakness uh, on the side. Is it, what the freak? So this... Uh, if you're looking at a turret... This is only 160-ish, so I have penetrated uh, IS-6s right here on the cheek, but don't go too far out. If you go too far out, you'll, it'll bounce, so this is 300, 230, 200-ish. The same goes for this side, so sh try to shoot this little machine gun port right here. This is only 160, so this is another weakness right here. The top of the tank is also a weakness. The top tank is 150. So when you shoot the top of the tank, don't try to shoot between the tank, this will ricochet. But the top of the little cupola, that's a weakness. So try to aim for here with this little machine gun port. The side of the turret, slant, and it's ricochet. Uh, if you face an IS-6 like this, so whenever you're playing an IS-6, try to slant it like 45, 40-ish. So this is a ricochet automatically. The side is 300. Even with space armor, this little flap is also space armor, so this is 300-ish. So if you slam 45 degrees, this is ricochet. This is, however, a weak spot. So try to cover this part up, as we talked about, this little cheek. And the front, ricochet. Doesn't even matter. So try to uh, try to angle your tank like this, like 45 degrees-ish. Try to make this line like straight. And it's automatic ricochet, and this is very well-angled tank. Because the side armor is about 100, and this is... This is a bounce. It doesn't matter how big a caliber shell you have. This is a bounce. So be careful. The top of the tank is very weak. 20, 20, 30. Easy. So don't get hit in top, obviously. The ass, it's slope about 100. So you can't get past like a T-50 light tank. They cannot penetrate the back. Unless they shoot the bottom ass cheek, but eh. The side panel, ricochet. Automatic ricochet. So this tank is very well armored. But the gun is on the weak points of this tank, obviously. So as you can see, this little periscope right here, there's a periscope right here. This little driver hatch. Shoot here, you, you'll kill the driver, obviously. The top of the tank, this is 150-ish. So try to aim for here. That's a weak spot. This is a very ricochet. That is, that's just ass. So <laughs> that's pretty much the weakness on this tank. So now you know to shoot at this little machine gun port. This might be space armor, but I've seen tanks that penetrated me from right here, right here. So be careful. And here's a weakness. This is a major weakness on this tank, this little driver hatch, as well as the top of the turret. If you have a very big caliber gun, go for the cheeks of this tank. You can easily penetrate right here or right here, but just be careful. Or if you have a very big caliber gun, just shoot the front hall. You'll be fine. So know that um, don't be afraid of shooting this hole in the uh, sloped armor if it's pointing directly at you because it's only about 180-ish and 200-ish. So just shoot like right here. Shoot downwards into this tank right here and it's only at 120. So this tank is not well armored. So don't try to go up hills so don't go, or go downhill. So if, you've, uh, 
If you see an IS-6 like this, that means it's on a hill and it's poking its gun downwards. So it only has 100 millimeters of frontal armor. So you want to slant this tank as best as possible to your advantage. So let's go back to the real game and uh, we'll have some light gameplays. All right, blah, 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 blah. I talk way too long. Let's shoot somebody. Jesus Christ. So this tank, also another benefit is you do have preferential matchmaking. Um, you only see tier 9 games. You will not see tier 10 games. Uh, but this is not true of all tier 8 premium tanks or all tanks too. You have to be very sure. For example, the T-34, this tank right here, this is also American premium tank. But it does see tier 8 or uh, tier 10s. Whereas IS-6 does not see tier 10s whatsoever. So just be careful. So this tank is very well armored. Try to angle this tank as best as possible and do your best. Oh my god, the HD model looks amazing! Remember, the accuracy on this gun is very bad. So don't shoot like a sniper. You're not a sniper. Try to get in close and poke your face into the other people's tank and try to shoot them that way. Have a KV-1S following us. Try to angle my tank. Let's have the Tiger and the T-32 poke up. IS-3 is on the hill. Nice turret shot. There's no artillery, so be careful. Now the T-34 has 240 mil pen or 230 mil pen, so just be careful about shooting other premium tanks. Uh, knowledge of this game or knowledge of other tanks will greatly improve your tank combatants, so be careful. We do have a Ramato Borsig and a few tank destroy on this side. Oh shit. But you do not want to face check um, American turreted tanks. Okay, let's do it. Metal Gear. This tank has not good gun depression, so be careful. Compared to American tanks, nope. Nice shot. Nice shot. What the fuck ammo rack me? Oh, out. Alright. So they're all digged in on the hill. The accuracy of those of them is not that good, but you can bounce shots easily. Oh fuck. Come on, take destroyers. I took a big hit. Into the turret? Are you serious? See, that is a weak spot. 
But Jesus Christ. We're capping. Yeah, sure. Come on. We go by tank. We go by turret. Ah, he missed. Get some port, port fire. They're digging very well. See, I took my tracks out. Did no damage though. This tank is good like that. Facing up to like a bunch of tier A head up tank destroyers. You can actually eat shells. Jesus Christ, this tank is very hard as nails. Gonna get a shot at me, son. Remember, you have no huh? distraction. Ah, you fired! Ah, oh, damn it! I want to get a killing blow. Metal Gear. So this tank, what the fuck? How the hell are you penetrating me from that side? Is that the? I have no idea. You penetrated me at the side armor on the freaking space armor. So we were playing a scout tank. <laughs> What the fuck? I was scouting most of the game. I hate that map. So, field maps are kind of bad for this tank because of the accuracy as well as you're huge. So, that map was kind of bad because everybody was camping on the hill and there was a bunch of American tanks. So, they would have good turret armor. But, remember, you have no ammo. So, 6 out of 6 shots. That's a plus. And, um, try to stick to cities and cover because, um, this tank has not an uh, accurate gun, so that map was actually a bad map for this tank. But we did pretty fine. Well, I don't matter. I didn't see the ah, I didn't see the money I made. Oh shit, tier nine. All right, we get a Fosh, a Waffenträger Panzer IV, and a bunch of 110s and 112s, money makers. All right. Normally, looking at this map. We have a bunch of heavies, a buttload of heavies, and um, they have a lot of uh, American uh, heavy tanks, which is good at the hills. So I normally will go to the city because uh, you cannot contest American tanks on hills. You cannot. That's their strong point. So I'm not gonna contest it. I'm gonna go for the hill or go for the city with this Tiger too. They do put new music in, which is amazing. I like the new music. This tank looks so pretty though. Oh my god. Ah, die cherry tree. So be careful, know your surroundings, know your opponents. So we're only fa facing up to um, all heavy tanks. So be, what the fuck? What the hell spots me? Oh, he took a hit. The 112 took a hit. I didn't took a hit. I was like, what the fuck? But this tank is not slow, so not slow at all. Use cover. Lags! So I wish our American tanks are on the hill. Yep, most of them. What the? I have a sneaky, sneaky Panzer. He took a. See, he hit right at the cheek, so. Alright. There he is. Oh, you think hitting me is funny? You son of a bitch! Yeah, you don't like that, do ya? Asshole! What the fuck shot at me this time? 
All right. I don't know why this T-34 is yoloing. Lags. Save that tank. There you go. Yeah, motherfucker! Eat it! You a bitch! Shoot at me! Don't like bullets in your face now, do ya? Yeah, eat it! Oh, that was. Oh, he's getting worked over. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, 12T, I need you to spot that guy. He, uh, remember, the Waffentrager glass cannons, Panzer Waffentrager, whatever, they have very good view range, and you're in a heavy tank, and they have very good camo rating, so don't take the chances. There he is. Okay, nice 12T, good job. Nice play, 12T. Oh, let's go follow up on our Panzer 4. Panzer for 5, actually. Twelve frames per second. No shots. Our hill is losing, so I have to help out right now. There we go. I need spots. I cannot do stuff without spots. Let's go for the artillery. Come on, Panzer Spur 5, follow up, please. Angle, angle, angle. Damn. Hell lost to that Fosh. Ugh. What? He blew his tracks. So come on, Tolty. Come on, Tolty. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, it should not have been lost. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, we did the best we can against that uh, Panzer Waffentrager 4, I guess. Yeah, the hill just lost. You get disappointing games like that. Oh, we did okay. 200. And... Did we do the most damage on our team? We did the fucking most damage on our team. Alright. Uh... 
uh, well, <laughs> mostly came to the fucking T-34. But, um, uh, let's see how much money do we make. So, basically, premium tanks make a lot of money. So, even on lose, I made 42,000. So, that's not bad. So, that's still 23,000. That's, like, more than a winning game on my, uh, the Waffenträger, Grand Metal Borsig. That's even more money than that, Jesus. So this uh, premium tanks make a lot of money. So let's look at the victory for this game. See, we make twenty nine thousand. So you make a lot of money as long as you don't get damaged like a scrub like I. <laughs> Goddamn Waffen triggers, so easy to spot you and shoot you. All right, city map, great, love it. Ah, uh, we're against uh, WZ one twenty. He's probably gonna be out there very fast. So the T34E1, he's gonna be a problem. The E75 is gonna be a real problem. And we have a bunch of, uh. Okay. We we'll always go for the hill. We we'll have a Yak Tiger, a Conqueror, a E75 or ourselves. That's fine. That's wonderful, actually. We do have a bunch of T29s. They're good on the hill. A super Persian. Oh, come on, lion. Are you serious? Pansy. Lion has 220 millimeter pen, so be careful. Right into the lower glaces. Nice shot. Lion. Shit. Nice, Conqueror. Then blow his tracks off. Damn. Nice shot. Right into his ammo rack. Nice track. Good track on that guy. Nice shots. Try to keep up the pressure. Took a big hit down the front. Lowered. Into the lion, pull back. He's not going anywhere. Nice. Good job. Good follow up, team. to Coppola. Alright, now for that Ramita Borsig. Let's hurry, because we're losing. We're losing the hill. We need to get off the hill. That missed. Right. 
Legs, oh my god! Let's see if the Romita Borsa can make a play. Yeah, I played the two, I have no time for him. Yeah, you try to shoot at me. Scrub. Missed that shot. Asshole. Took a hit in my asshole! <laughs> what the fuck shot me in the asshole? Fuck you! We got a top gun? What the fuck? Oh shit. Let's walk around. P75 should be able to do this. Do we already spot it? Something up! Alright, he's out. So the IS-6, very good tank. Very good tank. I love this tank. It makes a lot of me. Okay, that was a lot. The heavy dealing game. Let's see how much money we made. Holy shit! Tons of pennies. Yeah, we made it. What the fuck? That's a lot of minis. Yeah, okay, here's a shout out to Ida. I die no 555 again. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you're in, you're in two of my videos now. Thank you. You're lucky. I mean all my videos. I don't have, you don't have to deal with the shit. I have to deal with myself. That doesn't even make sense. Follow that dream. Credits coefficient? What the fuck is the fuck is the dream? Be join the top one players on your team by farming experience. Oh, nice. So if the, the okay. If you're the top player on your team, you make lots of money. So damage blocked by armor. Wow. We took a lot of hefty damage. And yeah, vehicle spotted. Did I just did I eat that shots though? I think I ate those shots. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Uh, enemies destroyers and damage due to my assistance. Uh, oh, <laughs> one thousand. Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> I thought seven was the damage due to my assistance. So, eighteen shots uh, fired, sixteen hit, fifteen penetrated. All right. So, yeah, nice. So this is the IS6. Uh, I already made the video way too long by talking about premium tanks and all that garbage. <laughs> The turret traverse. Okay, I shouldn't show you guys. <laughs> okay, so say hi to I Dino five 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 again. But okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the ISX, and uh, you can say hi to I Dino five 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 as well. But uh, this very good tank, Russian.
So, in my opinion, I will get this a nickname of a uh, caring Russian mother, like those beefy Russian mothers. <laughs> this tank is very, very well armored. Very, very well armored. And the gun is very accurate. Oh, not that accurate, but still punchy, in my opinion. It just has only 30 rounds, but still. Alright, shut off time. I'll see you guys next time, folks. Peace.